we welcome in Okwa Sonye with the highlights. Okwa. Hey, Joe and Mark. Listen, the regular season coming to an end for some teams tonight. A little bit of sentiment for senior day for some teams. Some were playing for pride, others for playoff positioning. Here's a look at two of the night's matchups. In Manchester, it was senior night for the Red Hawks, hosting East Hartford in their last game of the season. The Hornets caused trouble from the very beginning. On the opening kickoff, they forced a fumble, managed to recover it at the Manchester Six. And on the very first play from scrimmage, Dallas West rumbles in. First blood goes to East Hartford. They lead it 7 0. Looking to answer the Red Hawks, Jaden Kennedy, the QB, the screen pass to Jared Lindstrom, and the senior rumbling, almost getting to the house. A huge game for Manchester. Later in the drive, they would try to punch it in, going for it on fourth down, but Kennedy rolling out to his right, couldn't get enough yards to get the first down. With that turnover on downs, the ball would go back to East Hartford. Draven Roberts taking the snap and going right up the gut and just look at that pile keep going and going and going. He would get the first down and then they cap the drive. Kamari Hayes bursting through the right side for six. East Hartford holding off the late Manchester comeback would hold on to win 34 to 28. In the capital city, a banner year for SMSA, undefeated on the year, taking on the Windsor Locks Co-op. The Raiders were down 20 nothing at the half, but they turn on the Jets. Enter Justin Morley on the Jets sweep. A huge game taking them deep into Tiger territory. Let's go later in the drive, Aiden Walker rolling out and rolls out all the way to the crib, getting past a few defenders. Touchdown Raiders, 27 they trail. The Tigers later in the quarter said, all right, that's enough of that. Quarterback Daniel Hernandez keeps it himself and takes it all the way. How about a 59 yard touchdown run capping the undefeated regular season for SMSA. 10 and 0 this year, they win it 35 seven. Oh, and by the way, SMSA clinching the number one seed in Class Double M. What a run for the Tigers this year. I'm Unqua Sonia. Joe, Mark, back to you. Thanks so much, Unqua. Now we'll check out another game from out of conference. Cheney Tech out of Manchester hitting the road to take on Bullard Havens and Kobe Cathedral. That co-op from Bridgeport. Bullard Havens getting fired up for this one. And then the teams with the how do you do's and the please to meet you's. <laughs> Bullard Havens is going to score first. This long pass down the sideline. That's Stanley St. Victor there to reel it in in stride. And he's going all the way for the touchdown. Bullard Havens grabs that early lead, but Genie Tech on the attack. Fullback Kevin Briley taking the screen pass. Making a few moves along the sideline and he's going to be in for six. This was an evenly matched game tonight in Bridgeport. Later on, Genie Tech, it's Briley getting the handoff and oh, look at some of these moves. He's gone. The long touchdown for the Beavers of Genie Tech. Ah, oh, what a great game that was. All right, our FNF Athlete of the Week winner out tonight. And this week, the award goes to Lexi Bonato of Amity High School in Woodbridge. All right, stay with us, right? When we come back, we're going to shake out how the state playoffs look with one game to go.